In this first episode, we're going to be creating the application and just making sure everything works. To create the application, just go to your uh, command prompt or your terminal and go into, you can go into any directory you want. Uh, I have a special code directory, so uh, I'm just going to go to admin or to my root and then go to code and now I'm inside the code directory. Uh, so now that I have the right directory selected, I'm just going to create the application. To do that, I'm going to type in Rails new and the application name is going to be photo flash dash dash database equals postgres sql and the reason why i'm doing this is because if i just did rails new photo flash everything would work perfectly fine uh, it would all uh, create all the files and everything would work exactly the way we wanted uh, but when i add this uh, special argument of database equals uh, postgres sql it makes the local database also use postgres and postgres is what we would use in production for most rails applications and so it's uh, to me it's a little bit more of a natural thing to have uh, postgres be my database locally as well as uh, in production. If I left this out, it would just use SQLite, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but one thing you'll find if you use SQLite a lot is uh, it lets you do a lot of different things that Postgres doesn't let you do in terms of uh, letting you do things and not throw errors at you. So uh, one thing I've discovered is if I rely too heavily on, Post on SQLite, then I run into some surprises in production when I switch over to Postgres. So I add this into pretty much every application I use just because I like having uh, my production side having some similar characteristics uh, to uh, my development side. So I'm just going to do that. Hit return. And it's going to create all the files for us. And depending on how fast your machine is, uh, it'll take a little bit of time. Uh, you can see if you look through all the files, it's creating everything from our models, our views, our controllers. Uh, it also sets us up with our automated tests, which is something that's definitely a good thing to get in the habit of. And we're going to get into on this course. And so it looks like everything's good there. I'm going to CD into it. So now we're in our application. And the first thing I need to do is run rake db create. And this is going to create our database for us. If you leave this out and you try to run it, then you're going to uh, run into some errors. And so this already exists because I already tested this one out. So that's all good. Do Rails S. And now let me open up a browser window just to make sure everything's working. And I'll bring it into this window. Go localhost 3000, and it's all working. So uh, you've successfully created your Rails application. Now that you have that, let's start building it out.